wow finally i'm doing this it's been a while since i was planning uh but yeah here you go so marketers have you ever opened linkedin and suddenly felt like you've been living under a rock one scroll and then boom everyone's talking about llm optimization ai agents autonomous frameworks rag pipelines and things you didn't even know you were supposed to know it's almost like the whole industry evolved overnight and somehow you missed the memo <laughs> and honestly it's not just overwhelming it's uh, actually distracting uh, there is so much noise so many buzzwords and so many screenshots of breakthrough frameworks that it becomes hard to figure out where the real signal is right most marketers aren't confused because they lack intelligence or something you know most of the marketers i have met they are all so good they are very intelligent people but the thing is they are confused because the ecosystem keeps shifting faster than they can process and that's exactly why i'm launching this 100 part series not to chase the noise like not to add layer of jargons to an already cluttered feed but to slow things down you know to go deeper instead of faster now to break down one concept at a time clearly patiently and without the hype now over the next 100 days i'm going to unpack the fundamentals the advanced ideas uh, and practical applications that actually matter uh, just real understanding so are you ready to get started let me start with a simple observation now if you look around today people still search on google now that hasn't changed uh, but something else has changed quietly without even any major announcements or headlines but it's been happening for a while a lot of people now do something different before they open a browser now they open chat gpt or perplexity or gemini uh, and according to surveys this isn't a fringe behavior anymore right and uh, open ai uh, their research shows that a big portion of chat gpt queries are just people asking for information the same way that one would search on google Now in India a Salesforce survey showed that more than 70% of people surveyed uh they use generative AI tools regularly and student groups you know you can bet that their usage may be definitely higher so search isn't just you know moving from one place to another search has split completely and most people didn't notice this now let me share my screen now here this circle represents what we are used to the traditional seo where you target keywords you optimize your pages and then you fix your website technically you build backlinks then google crawls everything and decides which pages to show and this is quite familiar and it still works right major almost like 80% of it still remains the same uh but the behavior on google has shifted quietly now there is a report from search engine land and few other uh websites also that right the number of searches that end without any click it is uh probably more than 40 50% and people get the answer on the results uh in the results page itself and they just simply move on um so seo still matters but it's no longer capturing the whole picture of how people look for information online Now look at this second circle. Now this is where everything that's grown around Google, like ChatGPT, Perplexity, Gemini, Grok, etc. Now this is where a huge amount of early stage search is happening now, and especially for people under thirty. And uh, the point here isn't to say that Google is over. I mean they still control a major portion of the search uh, share. It's that the people are now using multiple. surfaces right to get an answer so people aren't abandoning search i think just the entry point has been now getting into multiple different surfaces uh, that's what has been changing now i personally understood is that when me and my teammate were asking chat gpt uh, for some of the questions uh, it wasn't a trick question by the way it was like a um, uh and it's also not about a specific niche it's a very simple basic industry topic that both of our uh, both of us were working on and the answer we got were completely different now he was in uh, i think he was in mumbai and i was in bangalore we just asked probably my prompt was different his prompt was different but the meaning was quite the same chat gpt started highlighting different brands different explanations different angles towards it and that was the moment 
I realized that this is not how search engines behave, right? In Google, whenever we search, uh, probably if our website is on the top, uh, even if you search from elsewhere, and if you're ranking, chances are, in most of the places, you will still be ranking. at the top except local specific keywords right uh, llms are not following the same trend they answer based on what they think is more relevant for that specific session uh, that specific user input and that specific moment and that is what is changing the search entirely now tools like chat gpt they don't give you a list of pages they give you one answer and uh, the interesting part is that answer is built with several moving pieces like your exact phrasing even a tight uh, tiny word change can trigger a different internal chain uh, because llms work based on word to word probabilities and it also depends on your chat history let's say for example if you have banned a particular uh, uh, brand and uh, if you have instructed chat gpt not to show any result or don't recommend this product at all then obviously it's not going to recommend that product when you are uh, searching for it right and the retrieval the extraction of that uh, uh, answers that are retrieved and uh, assembling the answer through proper grounding so naturally naturally what happens is the two people asking the same question they rarely get the exact same answer but the kind of brands that get featured more or less it may remain the same because uh, still chat gpt uses a major portion of its search from google so we can expect that the number of brands getting featured may be different but saying that they are going to be ranked the same may not be true because it's no longer about ranking right it's about getting uh, the brand featured in the answer that is even more important now this is where it gets interesting for companies now uh, most brands still think in terms of ranking and this is where the change in the thinking has to happen because uh, usually the questions are are we on page 1 are we moving to position 3 from position 7 do we rank for this keyword you know but ai driven answers don't work like rankings right ai doesn't say here is a list of 10 pages and then you go and click it it's not like that rather it is synthesizing the information and giving you like hey uh, this is the information i hope you can trust it more uh, kind of a thing so the important question here is no longer where do we rank but are we even part of the answer now a brand might rank number 1 on google but still it may be invisible on chat gpt or perplexity and uh, there is a chance right not every time um, now, but this is the gap that we felt and we come up with something called search engineering now this top circle here is the core of the entire 100 day series that we are creating by the way this is day 1 for the same now search engineering is not a replacement for seo it is a system that makes sure that you show up wherever search actually happens today not just on google now here are some of the main components like entity clarity uh, the topical depth uh basically in the regular seo world we call it as topical authority right and then the consistent descriptions around the web about your brand uh the backlink context and also the fan out uh, queries uh because no matter how big your uh prompt is uh lms try to understand what is the context of your question so the fan out is also quite an important concept to understand so there are quite a lot of um things to understand and that is where we planned to come up with these 100 part series where every day we'll be going a uh, depth about everything that you may need to know about llm optimization and stuff now how are these C- three circles connecting now here is the actual picture so the bottom left you see seo still matters it ranks your pages simple the bottom right is where the ai surface is mattering like like the uh, chat gpt gemini and stuff the top is a search engineering now this basically connects the two and if your brand isn't designed for this top layer you will be strong in one world but you may be invisible in the other now after chat gpt immediately google they declared a code red internally and they started working on lot of tools and now chat gpt as we speak now they are in code red they are trying to uh, create something a new version i think garlic is the new thing which they are working on so over the next in next a few episodes we are going to unpack each clue that led to this change like why two users get different answers why brands disappear from ai uh, why google still matters you know not just in the same way we assume it still matters right but by episode 10 you will see exactly how all these clues connect to what i call it as search engineering now tomorrow day 2 we will explore why two users asking the same question but get different answers so yeah see you tomorrow